Moshe took the bones of Yosef with him out of Mithraim, for enduringly he had adjured the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Sokot and encamped in Hetham, in the edge of the wilderness. And Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, that they might go by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night departed not from before the people. Shemot, Exodus, chapter 14. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael, that they turn back and encamp before Pihaherot, between Magadol and the sea. Before Be'elathorn, opposite it shall ye encamp by the sea. And Parao will say of the children of Israel, They are entangled in the land. The wilderness hath shut them in. And I will make strong Parao's heart, and he shall follow after them. And I will get me honor by means of Parao, and by means of all his host. And the Methrim shall know that I am Yahweh. And they did so. And it was told the king of Methraim that the people were fled, and the heart of Parao and of his servants was changed toward the people. And they said, What is this we have done, that we have sent Yisrael away from serving us? And he made ready his chariot, and took his people with him. And he took six hundred chosen chariots, and all the chariots of Mithraim, and captains over all of them. And Yahweh made strong the heart of Parao, king of Mithraim, and he pursued after the children of Yisrael. For the children of Yisrael went out with a high hand, and the Mithrim pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Parao, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them encamping by the sea beside Pihaheroth before Baalistaphon. And when Parao drew near, the children of Yisrael lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Mithrim were marching after them, and they were very afraid. And the children of Yisrael cried out to Yahweh. And they said to Moshe, Because there were no graves in Mithraim, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? For what reason hast thou dealt thus with us, to bring us forth out of Mithraim? Is not this the word that we spoke to thee in Mithraim, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Mithraim? For it were better for us to serve the Mithraim, than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moshe said to the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh, which he will work for you today. For the Mithrim, whom ye have seen today, ye shall not add to see them again for ever. Yahweh will fight for you, and ye, ye shall be silent. And Yahweh said to Moshe, For what reason criest thou to me? Speak to the children of Yisrael that they go forward. 
and lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it and the children of Yisrael shall go into the midst of the sea on dry ground and I behold I will make strong the heart of Mithraim and they shall go in after them and I will get me honor by means of Parao and by means of all his host by means of his chariots and by means of his horsemen and the Mithraim shall know that I am Yahweh when I have gotten me honor by means of Parao by means of his chariots and by means of his horsemen and the messenger of the God who went before the camp of Yisrael removed and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud removed from before them and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of Mithraim and the camp of Yisrael, and there was the cloud and the darkness, yet gave it light by night, and the one came not near the other all the night. And Moshe stretched out his hand over the sea, and Yahweh caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all the night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Yisrael went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. And the Mithrim pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Parao's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it was in the morning watch that Yahweh looked forth upon the host of Mithraim through the pillar of fire and of cloud, and discomfited the host of Mithraim, and he turned aside the wheels of its chariots, and he made it to drive in heaviness, so that Mithraim said, Let us flee from the face of Yisrael, for Yahweh fighteth for them against Mithraim. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon Mithraim, upon its chariots, and upon its horsemen. And Moshe stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared. And Mithraim was once fleeing to encounter it, and Yahweh shook off Mithraim in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen, even all the host of Parao that went in after them into the sea. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Yisrael walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus Yahweh saved Yisrael that day out of the hand of Mithraim, and Yisrael saw Mithraim dead upon the seashore. And Yisrael saw the great work which Yahweh did against Mithraim, and the people feared Yahweh, and they believed in Yahweh and in his servant Moshe. Then sang Moshe and the children of Yisrael this song to Yahweh and spoke, saying, I will sing to Yahweh, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea.